Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And the Bulls have booked their spot in the URC quarter final. And it wasn't easy going for them. Uh, I was very, very impressed with what I saw from Benson, who gave it a lot of fight right up to the end. But in the final score ending, uh, 30 points to 23 Bulls getting over the line. And uh, they will host a semi final uh, next weekend. Uh, the opposition, well, we'll wait to see, won't we, a bit later. So we'll confirm those quarter uh, semi finals once we do know them. But before we get stuck into this game, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. What a start it was for the Bulls with Kirkley Orensa, who went off injured, and we'll have to wait and see exactly what happens with him. Um, going uh, Scoring a try in literally the first minute. It hadn't even reached minute one. The first uh, literal uh, play of the game was a, a deep kick from uh, Jan Yuen. And Jan was identifying space. Popped it to Billy Leroux. Billy Leroux chipped ahead. Um, Kurt Lawrence gave chase. Ball bounced towards him pretty favorably. And over he went. And bang, Jan Hussen adding the extras. And all of a sudden, Bulls were 7-0 up within the first 60 seconds, really. Uh, or well, the first 120 seconds, anyway. Uh, but Benton then grew into the game um, and they got themselves three points in the 10 minutes, uh, courtesy of uh, Rena Smith. Uh, before Cody Answer went over for a second in the 20th minute. And, and just before that, uh, Benton actually had a try disallowed. We're very interested to see what would have happened if that try had been uh, awarded. And uh, Benton took the lead and uh, were looking very good, building a lot of momentum. Um, but that uh, try with Cody Answer converted by Hurst and suddenly gave the Bulls a bit of a better lead uh, and 14 points to three. Uh, and then a bit of brilliance from Rotave, who went over in the 31st minute. He had a really good game to the Pajian uh, to make it 14 points to eight. And then just before half time, um, about sort of 36 minutes, Jan Kursen adding three extra points to make it 17 points to eight at half time. And uh, I think at that stage of the game, Bennington were confident and they started the second half, half well by getting an early penalty in the 31st minute, sorry, 41st minute, uh, with Rainer Smith converting it before Jan Kursen cancelled that out. Um, about uh, 10 minutes later. So 20 points to 11. And then uh, a bit of magic from uh, Alvinors, the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the the fly half who was really good today. And um, he went over in the 57th minute, slicing through that Bulls defense. Rennes was adding the extra to make it a two-point game. But, and this is probably kind of the reason that probably Benton lost, they couldn't really capitalize on any pressure that they built in terms of taking the next step. So literally they bowled. I think they, they went to over in the 57th minute and... Uh, Two minutes later, they conceded a try with the like, Creel going over after butchering the kickoff. Uh, you know, you think you just take the kickoff, you clear your lines, you start again. Uh, maybe they could have mounted a bit of a comeback there. So uh, uh, it was 27 points to 18 with uh, 62 minutes to go. Uh, a late try from Feki Toa, um, making it 27 points to 23. But uh, Johan Kursen then getting another penalty to uh, make it 30 points to 23. And uh, look, Benton was still playing and we're right up against it. Uh, with the Bulls at one stage, and that Benton that scored a converted try, it would have been uh, 30 points apiece, and we would have gone into extra time. So it was a game that was never out of reach for Benton. The Bulls never uh, really managed to, I think the first they were away was, was about nine points. So it was a very good watch to 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 see, and uh, it shows you, I think, how you know close these teams in the URC really are, um, and how important I think home advantage is going to be, because I think in Treviso, I think that potentially result goes the other way. Uh, in terms of some of the stats, 42% uh, possession for the Bulls, 58 for Benton. Tells you a very interesting story. Uh, possession as well. Um, and territory was a bit much the same, sort of 40-60 split. Uh, in terms of the scrums, Bulls had a very good scrum. They, it got a bit better for Benton as the game went on. But um, a couple of very good penalties in the, in the first half helped build that momentum for the Bulls. Uh, Lineups were a problem for, for, for the Bulls. A bit messy at times. Uh, much better for Benton, even though they did lose one. Uh, restarts, uh, it says restarts win percent was 100% for both, but it wasn't. Uh, if you look at the attack though, post contact meters, Benton 300, 172 for uh, the Bulls, uh, five line breaks for the Bulls to four turnovers uh, lost over here, or turnovers one, five apiece, um, very similar turnovers lost as well. In terms of discipline, Benton pinged eight times, Bulls apparently pinned just four, so uh, their discipline definitely made a bit of a difference there. And in terms of the defense, 85% uh, success rate there from the Bulls, 81%. Uh, from Benson. If you look at some individual players, uh, again, I thought Onisi Rotavi, uh, three line breaks, three carries, really good work. Cameron Hardicom had a bit of a defensive masterclass, putting in 21 tackles, Nizam Carr with 19, Ulrich Lowe with 18. So uh, really impressive from uh, the, the, the loose chirp of the Bulls who got around the park and, and put in a lot of work. In terms of meters carried, Rotavi, 122, uh, almost more than doubled the next best, which was Manichel with 52. He had another very nice game um, as well. In terms of defenders beaten, Albanoz was seven. As I mentioned, he was full of running, was the fly half. 
Uh, Cody Lawrence with four. Cody Lawrence went off the pitch uh, with an HIA, did not return. Um, we'll have to wait and see exactly what the situation is with him. Uh, if it's just a pretty orthodox concussion, then hopefully that'll be him back for the island season. We don't have to worry. If it is something like a cheekbone or, or, or fracture, then that could potentially make life a bit more interesting uh, from a stream box to the excellent point of view. Let me know what you thought about the game down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve.